What a view from the air of downtown Los Angeles. Here on the ground, our site of tonight's broadcast. Hello and welcome to Sunday Night NBA Action here on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson alongside Doris Burke and Grant Hill. We'll check in with Allie LaForce in a moment. But first, our special guest this evening, former Female Athlete of the Year, Candace Parker. Hey, Candace. Hey, thanks, VA. I'm a big fan of your show. Great to have you. One two punch of George and Kawhi on the perimeter. Then there's Marcus Morris, then it's Jackson, and it's Tiny in at the center position. It'll be the Hornets off the tip. Well, Candace, load management's become a big part of the game recently, and for guys like Kawhi Leonard, that maintenance is required to get him through a season with the idea that he'd be at his best and his healthiest come playoff time. And that's the key. You want to be at your best come playoff time. But you know what? You got to get to the playoffs. You got to get in position as well. So, you know, I look for Kawhi and his team to be smart. And load management is a thing that is here to say. And here are the Hornets now, following the score by the Clippers. And there's the lob. Hey, great communication on the lob. You know, I really like this. Instead of putting his head down, Terry Rozier keeping his eyes up and finding his open teammate. Come on, B.A. He sure can rise. Grant, that's as good as it gets. One of the best in the league. And we're about a minute into the first. Rozier, the pass to ball. Lays it up and banks it in. Ball's got his second basket on the night. Candace, we see so many different coaching styles. To you, what's the most important quality in a head coach? The most important quality in a head coach, especially nowadays, is to be able to connect with your team. You have to be able to connect to know what they need on a nightly basis, you know when to push, know when to bring them back down into reality, um, and how to set the tone. So I think that that is so important, especially in this generation. <laughs> no problems knocking that one down. And you got to defend better than that. I mean, that's a good look for him. That's not coming with the right mentality. The defender neither closes the space nor challenges the shot. That's frustrating as a coach, boy. Oh, his shooting remains on point. Three for four thus far. They've hit four of their first five shots. Great execution and attention to detail. Here's Duncan. Oh, a rim-rattling two-handed jam. He throws it down with two hands. You know he won't mess that up. Not this guy. He is a big-time finisher. Now here's Ball. He's got six. Pass to carry. It's so wonderful to see the growth of the WNBA engaging new fans and sponsors. Candace, how does the league continue that ascent, you think? I think the WNBA has to continue to do things different. Um, we are a different game than the NBA, and we can't always use the NBA's um, blueprint as ours. So I think we need to continue to push that and, um, you know, open up more doors for ourselves. Good point. Leonard against Hayward. Got a piece of it. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And so here are the Clippers. For Los Angeles, they've gone four of six in the first quarter. Here's Duncan. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Give him eight. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Well, some time now has passed since the WNBA bubble, Candace. Looking back at that time, what stands out the most to you? Well, for the last six or seven months, we weren't allowed to say bubble in my house. Social justice and everything that the country was going through at the time. So to be a part of that was great, but just one time, BA, not again. Well, the WNBA crowned a champion, and maybe most importantly, as always, a leader in the social justice movement. Pass to Duncan. Jackson again, Toubre. Kept alive, Duncan. And he makes no mistake, slam dunk. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave, no doubt. And down it goes, Kelly two Oubre. points. And one thing Oubre could do to help his offense, to me, make himself into a better ball handler. Great dribble drive move that time. Now here's Jackson. 
Here's man. Shot clock at six. Timeout called. The Clippers. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Hornets team. And they swept the team last season. Johnson. He's checked in for the Clippers. 52 seconds left to play in the first. Just two to shoot. Count it. 12 points for him. Oh, he's on the attack. Hitting six of his last seven. Charlotte has gone 0 for 2 from outside. None against Johnson. Here's the floater. Oubre can't hit. Well, you got to miss sometimes, but that one seemed like a gimme. And stolen by none. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Washington. And rejected. Here's Mann. He's covered by Oubre. Out of bounds. It'll be Hornets ball. Over a decade in the WNBA. I want to know how the mental aspect of the game helps to compensate for any loss of athleticism. Man, VA, loss of athleticism? Man, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm seasoned. That's what I call myself, a seasoned vet. But, you know, honestly, I think it is. The game slows down as you get older. And it doesn't just slow down for you. You can control the game. And change of speed is important. It doesn't matter how um, <clears throat> unathletic you get. On the court for the Hornets. Ball and Rozier work together in the backcourt. Book night out there with Gordon Hayward. And it's Carey in at the five. Now here's Rozier. Checking the numbers. He's averaging close to 15 a game. Oh, it's no good. That would have tied it. Rozier against Jackson. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Earning his money on the interior tonight. That's a nice move. Ball passes to Rozier. We've got 155 left to play in the half. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Thanks. Well, Tiny in their last game against the Jazz really lit up the floor. He had 24 points and was a constant presence on the board. A Hall of Fame level performance the whole league is talking about now. It was a masterpiece. Guys? Thanks, Allie. Absolutely. He was a one-man show in that one, Grant. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same mentality tonight. One of the things I like about this guy, he's able to up the intensity whenever needed, and players really feed off his energy. All right, how about our special guest, Candace Parker. Candace, thanks for coming by and dropping some knowledge on us. I appreciate it. Happy to do it anytime, B.A. Now here's Ball. Give him eight points now. Hayward outside. Rozier left side. The shot that time not on target. The Clippers in the lead. Leonard outside. And he lobs it up to the rim. Boy, that open look set up by Kawhi Leonard. That's probably the most underrated aspect of his game. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's Carey. He can't get it to go. The Clippers go the other way with it. And following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Pelicans at Smoothie King Center in New Orleans. That's the first of a three-game trip out on the road for them. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Charlotte's gone two of four from beyond the arc in the second quarter. Hayward. And a foul call. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. Well, his body has grown, and Gordon Hayward has now become a physical force. He excels at getting to the line. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Pass to Duncan. On the wing man. Over Washington. Oh, it's blocked by Washington. They recover it. And so that brings the first half to a close. The Clippers shooting 59% in this one. A good average. George and Leonard at the two and the three. Then there's Reggie Jackson. Then there's Marcus Morris. And it's Tiny in at the five down low. That's the group starting the second half for Ty Lue. Here's Duncan. Shoots over Rozier. And Rozier pulls it down. Foul Clippers. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Charlotte trailing. 
And here's Ball. Rozier outside. Good chance here for Hayward. Plenty of room to knock down that one. Hayward's got six. Well, Gordon Hayward's so good in the catch-and-shoot situations. George outside. Pass to Duncan. And he goes in for the dunk. He is torching a defense that simply has no answers for him. The Hornets shooting it with confidence. 54% so far. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Here's Carey. Six to shoot. Pass the ball. Takes the three. Ooh, coming through again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shooting five for seven now. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. You know, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Now here's Leonard. Seven points in the game. Here's Duncan. Comes up empty down low. Charlotte has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Pass the ball. Back to Rozier. Now ball. And another basket for Charlotte. Wow, what a start. Three for three. Terrific play calling. Everything clicking out of the gates here. Now here's Jackson. Back to George. Jackson on the wing. Down low. Here's Duncan. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Boy, as slow a start as you could have. Just one for four from the field. They're struggling. Rozier can't get it to go. The Clippers have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Boy, when you think about Kawhi Leonard's career, one of the things that I'm always struck by is how he has been a model of efficiency. So smart when it comes to getting his shot and taking the right shots. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Get they haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They've been the aggressors. Yeah, and I think something they've also worked hard at tonight is crashing the boards. The second chance points have been coming in bunches. On the court for the Hornets. Rozier the two with Hayward at the three. Then there's P.J. Washington. Then it's Ball. And it's Carey in at the center. Los Angeles shooting around 53%. A nice number. Here's Jackson. And there's the rejection. To the middle. Here's Washington. Throws it down. And lay. And it's going to be on if it's a Zubac. The Clippers making a switch here. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. To the paint. Here's Duncan. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. George has got four assists in the game. Here's Rozier. Pass to Washington. Ball outside. Out to the wing. He puts up a three. Carey shot is off. The Clippers have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Here's Duncan. He's guarded by Washington. And here's Leonard. And that one drops. Well, we know this about Kawhi Leonard. He can score at all three levels, taking advantage of the mid-range game there. Pass to Carey. On the wing, Rozier. Hayward outside. To the right side. Five to shoot. Here's Ball. And he sinks out. No, no, hitting the no, back no. of the rim on the way in. Just a bad time for a defensive breakdown. And he really took advantage. We call that execution getting the ball to the right guy where he can do some damage. Ooh, that's a tough spot to be in as a defender. With that height disadvantage, it's very hard to protect the rim. Here's Ball. He got a piece of it. Jackson with it. Pass to George. To the inside. Here's Duncan. 
Jackson with it. Hounded by ball. George, right side. Here's Duncan. Carey grabs a miss. Jackson with it. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They're in front. 156 left in the fourth quarter of this one. This is a small forward who, because he's 230 pounds. I was able to listen in on what James Brago was going over with his team. He told them, we've got to protect the rim with everything we've got. If we cut down on their easy looks inside, we've got them. It might mean more room for their perimeter shooters, but that's a trade-off he's willing to risk. All right, back to you guys. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Well, almost effortless there for Kawhi Leonard. The reach and leaping ability. Look out. Ball against Jackson. Pass to Carey. Floats one. Good work defensively by Leonard. For Los Angeles, they've gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Jackson outside. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. And they're refusing to take a break, even with a nice lead. They just continue to attack. You have to love it. And that, to me, is a sign of excellent coaching. There's an attention to detail. There is valuing of every possession. And they had an advantage tonight. Came out sharp and did what was needed. Nice win here for the Clippers. A pair of tremendous rebounding teams. And these guys played a little harder tonight. And that was the edge they needed. And this will give them their 28th win of the year. And they meet just twice. So taking the first meeting means a lot to this team. And they're so close to putting this game away. Yeah, B.A., you don't have to do anything crazy. Just run the clock and don't turn it over. George, good. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. Here's Ball. Three-pointer Rozier. The Clippers grab the miss. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Back to George. Jackson on the wing. Hounded by Ball. Here's Duncan. Banked it in off the glass. With very little left on the clock, they've got a comfortable lead, and the fans are loving it. Well, they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. Yeah. So it's the Clippers winning this one easily. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And that about wraps it up. For Ali LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our two. A shimmering view of the Big Easy. It's twilight in New Orleans, home of tonight's broadcast. Happy holidays, everyone, from all of us at 2K Sports. Thanks for joining us at this Big show. thinker, no doubt about that. Good reporting. Right. For the Los Angeles Clippers, George and Leonard at the two and the three. Then it's Robert Covington. Then there's Reggie Jackson. And it's Tiny in at the center position. And for New Orleans, it's an all-Duke forward pair. Ingram the three, Zion the four. It's Graham and Alexander Walker at the one and the two. And it's Ibaka in at the center position. Six on the shot clock. George. They get it again. And that one is stuffed right through. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Nice way to start the game. That's where you'd like to get your shots from. To the inside. Here's Duncan. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. A really good decision there from Paul George. Quick to find the open man. And with Paul George Grant, you know what he delivers. Very consistent in what he'll bring to each game. I mean, the scoring is always going to be there. But his defense doesn't take a night off either. I mean, very nice and consistent production from him. It's deflected. Uneasy, too, on the layup. Here's Graham. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. Outside Ingram. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. No good. 
for Los Angeles. They've gone three of five shooting so far. And out of bounds, the Pelicans will take it. Be sure to do it early, too. The Pelicans have gone one of three from the floor. Outside Graham. Takes it inside. And finished off by Graham. Wow! Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Here's Duncan. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He has six. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Graham on the attack. Deflected! Leonard for three. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Graham, the pass to Ingram. Back to Graham. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Ingram with the ball. Guarded by Covington. Williamson outside. Shot clock at five. Graham for three. The shot no good. The Clippers go the other way with it. Coming off a win against the Hornets. They really had a strong night shooting the basketball. They got hot and stayed hot. Saw the box score the next day and thought about those percentages. They had guys just going off in that one. The vertical of Covington paying dividends. Fantastic job leaping up to slam it down. Here's Ingram. No good off the back of the rim. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on a 13-4 run. Pass to Duncan. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Really taking charge of the game. He's checked in for the Clippers. Man comes in for Paul George. Pass to Drummond. 14 feet away. The rebound by Duncan. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Leonard gets the bucket. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Right side, Schroeder. Here's Murphy. Leonard defending. Pass to Lewis. Shoots over Jackson. It's wide right, hits off the rim. The Clippers have gone 8 of 10 shooting. Nice start for him, sinking his first shot. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. And there's the drive. And he was fouled. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. For the Clippers, Brown comes in for Leonard. And it's Johnson in for Jackson. Los Angeles has gone two for two from deep to start this one. Kick out to Brown. Pass to Johnson. It's Hayes with the rebound. And the Pelicans shooting just 22% in the early stages of this one. And trust me, Dennis Schroeder would love to score the basketball, but his ability to set up his teammates is also effective. Here's Duncan. Here's Zubats. Off with the layup. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. And so it's Los Angeles in command. But now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach. Another big aspect has to be the fast break and transition play. Really looking to go up tempo tonight. Well, you were rookie of the year back in 1995, Grant. For young guys coming into the league, how difficult are expectations right out of the gate? Well, rookies these days are way younger than when I played. I mean, I was 22 my first year in the league after four years in college. So, you know, I think we have to give these young players time to develop and learn how to become great Two in the NBA. Remain. On the floor for the Clippers. Two Jackson and George, they're manning the backcourt. Kawhi Leonard out there with Robert Covington. And it's Tiny in at the five. Thanks. Well, Tiny in their last game against the Hornets just played phenomenal. He had 30 points and was a constant presence on the board. His stat line was unreal. Impossible to repeat? I don't know. Coming off of that performance, you tell me. Guys? 
Outstanding, thanks. Impressive ability to carry his team to victory, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I was really impressed. They wouldn't have won the game if it wasn't for his attacking mindset and will to win. Yeah, going up against a team that had no answer for him. We'll see if it plays oh, out the exact same way here tonight. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about by showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Well, that was clearly a foul. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. It's been all Clippers. Here's Duncan. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. George has got five assists in the game. Here's Duncan. Boom! He jams it straight down. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble paying off. Graham, the pass to Ingram. Here's Alexander Walker. The three is up. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. A smart play. Signs of Zion Williamson picking up what it is that's going on out there and being efficient. Inside. Nice pass. Nice catch. And a resounding dunk. They've been the more poised team tonight. And the score reflects that. Yeah, just really pouring it on right now. Trying to take away the opposition's motivation to keep competing in this one. On target from range. Ingram's got six points. It was a rough start for them scoring the ball, but they look like now they're really finding their rhythm and flow. Jackson against Graham. Pass to Duncan. Lays it up and banks it in. He's got 18. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Graham for three. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so a pretty long comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. Alexander Walker and Ingram are on the wing. Zion Williamson out there with Serge Ibaka. And it's Graham in at the point guard position. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. The rebound by Duncan. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Well, you see the improvement in terms of high level playmaking, a great understanding of all the offensive scheme that Kawhi Leonard possesses. Down low. And Williamson throws it down. And he's playing the game with a certain flair right now. Oh, he caps off the move with a little hang time on the rim. Well, Paul George definitely had a chance to take that one himself, but he makes the smart play and a quick dish to a teammate. Ingram on the wing. Good, and Graham with the setup. Graham's got three assists tonight. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. You think about the early part of Brandon Ingram's career, so long and so skinny, people worried about his frame and that he might not have uh, the ability to put on the weight and deal with the rigors. That's not true. Graham against Jackson. Graham, the pass to Ibaka. Misses from short range. Well, a lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the and one, and this time, they're not backing off. To the paint. And the jam by Ibaka. This can make it so much easier for your teammate. For the when you throw Steph Curry, you know, a recent memory where guys that came in thin and wiry, people thought they were going to get pushed around. Ingram now doing the pushing, especially on the offensive end. Pass to Duncan. Oh, a big finish with a one-handed jam. Earning his money on the interior tonight. That's a nice move. To the middle. Here's Hayes. It's tipped. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. Get the perimeter, get the perimeter. So it's the Pelicans now. Outside Graham. Here he goes. Brown with some nice D. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Here's Johnson. 
And he drops it in from the low post. And right now, that's five buckets in a row. Looking like a well-oiled machine coming out of the break. Here's Lewis, covered by Johnson. Outside Ingram, fires the three, and another three for New Orleans. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Here's Mann, covered by Ingram. Pass to Duncan. Two remaining in the third. Two over Hayes. No good off the glass. New Orleans has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Here's Lewis. Right now averaging five and a half a game. And that one's good. Ingram. That Ingram and that body and that maturation showing off in plays just like that. New Orleans has gotten 6 of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. The rebounding numbers make it obvious why they're in front. Well, every time the shot goes up, guys are doing a nice job of finding bodies and making sure there's room to collect a rebound. For New Orleans, they've gotten 5 of 10 shots to go. Pass to Lewis. Back to Graham. To the paint. Hayes inside. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Well, Los Angeles shooting 71%. Their offense has looked unstoppable all game long. And that Check one's good. Man. man. When a player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Back to Ingram. Pass to Hayes. To the right side. Four on the clock. Here's Lewis. The rebound by Duncan. The Clippers have gone six for nine in the half. Inside. And yep, it's good. 28 points for him. Wow, they're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. Ingram. Oh, and he got fouled on his face. When you add the length to the skill. Hayes is checked in for Alexander Walker, and it's Ibaka in for Brandon Ingram. To the inside. Here's Duncan. Puts the move on. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Hayes has got seven rebounds in the game. And so in the game for Los Angeles. Then it's Robert Covington, That's and it's Tiny in at the five, roaming the paint. From a physical standpoint, you just can't match up with Williamson's power down low. They're doing some good work at the line this half. Los Angeles has gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. A nice shot by Duncan. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. The Pelicans have gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. Pass to Hayes. And Grant, you've been around the game in so many roles. Been a player, broadcaster, owner. Talk about how the game has grown and the opportunities for continued growth. Well, we know how the game here in the U.S. has really gained prominence and is hugely successful and popular. And I also think that's happened over the years globally as well. But continuing to popularize the game in Africa, India, China, and elsewhere is exciting. There are so many new frontiers for this league to grow, and I'm excited that we're moving forward in that direction. Pass to Marshall. Two minutes remaining in the game. Schroeder with it. Puts up a three. And again, no good by New Orleans. Bledsoe with it. Hayes picks him up. Kennard outside. Down low. Here's Duncan. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Pass to Hayes. Here's Marshall. He's covered by Bledsoe. And again, no good by New Orleans. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting around 42% as we continue play in the fourth quarter. Everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Clippers. 
And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. And they increased their win total to 29. Always good to start a season series off with a W. They show tonight they take this team seriously, and the next two matchups between these two should be fun. Here's Hernan Gomez. Money from 17 feet out. Still young and still developing, but I like this mid-range area for Willie Hernan Gomez. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. And where was this type of effort earlier in the game? Unfortunately, this run will be all for nothing. The consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams, and tonight they just did not find it in this contest. Here's Duncan. Over Hernan Gomez. And there's a three-second violation. So taking shots in his presence. And it's New Orleans ball. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Murphy. Back to Hernan Gomez. Dunks it hard with one hand. And Gomez, a good finisher around the basket. And here's Bledsoe. So it's the Clippers winning this one easily. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled so tonight. And that about wraps it up. Up next, the Nuggets taking on the Clippers for the Denver Nuggets. They've lost only one game out of the last seven. They've taken their focus to another level, and they have their sights set on another win here tonight. Clippers, Nuggets, tip-off coming right up. There's Robert Covington, then there's Reggie Jackson, and it's Tiny in at the center position. And for Denver, Green out there with Nikola Jokic. Then it's Michael Porter, then there's Eric Gordon, and it's Murray in at the point. And Grant, these teams boast quality depth. As a starter, what's it like having a great bench behind you? Well, you know, it takes a lot of the pressure off your starters. And it can also apply good pressure on your rotation guys. So competition is a good thing. And competition for minutes makes a team better. Jackson can't get it to go. Gordon against George. Gordon attacking. Gordon with the big finish. And Gordon has the burst of speed you like to see in a guard. Excellent at knifing through the defense to the cup. Here's Jackson. George outside. Pass to Duncan. Leonard on the wing. Unloads. And that one's on target from the wing. That may not be his first choice, but Kawhi's not going to pass it up if it's there for him. Good decision to take the quick jumper off the catch. Gordon outside. Takes the three. The rebound by Duncan. And here's Jackson. Here's Duncan. Covered by Jokic. Inside. Second chance shot. And the layup is up and in. Wow, he really fires up his team with his ability to extend possessions. And it's the Nuggets ball. The last time they came together was in Los Angeles, where they fell to the Clippers. And last time against this squad, they struggled to make free throws. Yeah, and that was the difference, really. I mean, you think about it, they didn't knock them down at the same rate, and that hurt them. Leonard with the ball. And Jokic picks him up defense. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. 
Jackson against Murray. Shoots over Jackson. Murray, shot is good. Murray doing whatever it takes to find the shot. Dynamic play from Jamal. And as a leader, Murray is vocal. Talks to his teammates up and down the floor, and he pushes everyone, and they tend to follow. Coaches love to see ball movement, especially when it gets you that kind of look. Gordon finds Green. Back to Gordon. Tips! And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Leonard. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. And Murray's vocal to the opposition as well. He's used to the trash talking. I mean, he loves to challenge people. I mean, does it cross the line at times? Well, it depends on who you're talking to. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. To the inside. Duncan, and the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. George's all-around game is very impressive. And his passing has really grown. He's able to whip passes over to open teammates right on time and on target. Two yeah. free throws for him coming up. That's good from Porter. And the Nuggets will go for a different look here. Naji, he's checked in for Jokic. McDaniels comes in for Green. Morris, he's checked in for Gordon. And Campazzo subbed in for Jamal Murray. Well, it was a bumpy start to his career for Michael Porter. I mean, this guy had his entire rookie season taken away because of back surgery and had a big mountain to climb just to get back out on the court. But, you know, to his credit, he made the climb. Morris outside. Back to Daniels. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and power. The Nuggets have gone three of seven so far. Pass to Naji. Morris outside. Here's McDaniels. He's guarded by Zubats. Six on the shot clock. Morris finds some space. And it comes off the front of the rim. Well, I cannot believe he didn't capitalize there. And neither can he. Man, misses. The Nuggets trail. 26 seconds left to play in the first. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. And he lobs it up to the rim. Alley-oop up top, hammer it home. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Boy, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. Order in the post. It could go. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's Audrey. Green comes in for McDaniels. Michael Porter, he's checked in for Morris. And Jamal Murray is subbed in for Campazzo. Covington. Porter against Leonard. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Oh, it's not easy trying to guard Leonard inside. I can tell you that, guys. I mean, he's so good at using his body to get shots up over the defense. So, on the floor for the Clippers. George and Leonard at the two and the three. Then it's Jackson. Then it's Robert Covington. And it's Tiny in at the five spot. Pass to Green. And stolen by Covington. Thanks. Well, Tiny in their last game against the Pelicans really lit up the floor. He ended up with 36 points and really hit the boards. Tremendous production in that area as well. He had his handprint all over that game. Put up some big numbers. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Allie. Absolutely. He was a one-man show in that one, Grant. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in. may try to double. It might force him to adjust or force him to make plays with the pass instead. We'll see. And with Paul George Grant, you know what he delivers. Very consistent in what he'll bring to each game. I mean, the scoring is always going to be there. But his defense doesn't take a night off either. I mean, very nice and consistent production from him. Came up dry offensively in the first, but looks like he's ready to turn it around. George outside. 
There's 48 seconds left to play in the first half. Pass to Duncan. Leonard against Porter. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Jokic with it. For three. Covington grabs the board. Here's Duncan. Yes, and it's Leonard with the assist that time. He's got 14. He's officially taken over this first half, making all the right reads. Here's Murray. He takes it in. Ooh, excellent D there from Jackson. Here's Leonard. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And now it's a 10-point Los Angeles lead. He's smart about picking his spots. That time, Leonard senses opportunity and flies up the floor. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers earning this break in the action up 10. And here are the Nuggets now. Trailing by 10. They've got Eric Gordon. Nikola Jokic is out there with Jamichael Green. Then it's Michael Porter. And it's Murray in at the point. That's the group on the floor for Denver. And Grant, back when you played, were there certain types of teams that gave you more trouble, whether it was size or athleticism or maybe shooting? Well, back in my day, I mean, the big, strong teams had a huge advantage. They could really beat you up and plant big guys inside, which really made it difficult getting to the rim. George against Gordon. Now here's George. He's got 10. From deep. Rebounded by Green. Green's got four rebounds in the game. Outside Porter. Outside Murray. The rebound by Duncan. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. To the middle. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Jackson's got five assists tonight. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Boy, the defense looks... McDaniels comes in for Green. Morris, he's checked in for Gordon. And Campazzo subbed in for Jamal Murray. Pass to Naji. Down low. Ooh, it's stolen away. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, how do I put this? Nikola Jokic, not the most Reggie chiseled Jackson. physique. He said when he first made the NBA, there were no muscles. None. Now I have a couple, he said. To be honest, I like being a little bit heavier because guys are pushing me. I need that weight. It's funny, they say. Quote, well, he's not even in shape. I'm playing in 80 games, and they still say it. Brian? Ah, the Joker indeed, Allie. Thanks for that. He's checked in for Jackson. The Nuggets have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Pass to Naji. Oh, and that one has the right spin on it. It's good. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Here's Duncan. Let's it fly. It's rebounded by Naji. The Nuggets have gone two of five in this third quarter. Morris for three. Can't hit that one. The Clippers go the other way with it. They'll take on the Cavaliers at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse after this one. That game will conclude the three-game road trip they're currently on. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Can't cash it in from close range. And here are the Clippers now. Ten-point lead. Pass to Brown. Now Johnson. Just five to shoot. Here's Duncan. And a two-handed jam! <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. Outside Porter. 125 left in the third. Pass to Najee. 
Here's Campazzo, covered by Johnson. Oh, and Johnson with a block. And out of bounds, Denver will have it. Richardson. Morris down low, covered by Johnson. Morris can't hit. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. Here's Johnson. Oh, steps back and Keon drains Johnson. the jumper. Johnson's gotten his first basket of the night. That was not an easy move. I mean, especially against that length. You know, your assumption would be that he'd be at a big disadvantage in that matchup, but you'd be assuming wrong. Pass to man. Thirty-five seconds left in the third quarter. Great open look there. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Morris against Johnson. Got a piece of it. Morris can't hit. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. To the paint. Here's Duncan. And that one falls. Now 10 for 12 with that make. No surprise there. I mean, realizing he has the size advantage, he exploits it perfectly. Morris for three. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And so it's lost. Makes the extra effort defensively, rotating, closing out airspace, and sending shots back. They've worked hard tonight at crashing the boards as well. They've had a bunch of second chance points. On the floor for the Clippers. Jackson and George, they're manning the backcourt. Kawhi Leonard out there with Robert Covington. And it's Tiny in at the five down low. They grab their own miss. Here's Jokic. Oh, and he got five. Too big, too skilled. Jokic just methodically breaks you down. He's a very unique player. Green's check in for Campazzo. You know, Jokic was offered a multi-year deal in Europe back in 2015, but then had a horrible outing and the team backed away from it. Pass to Duncan. Murray against Jackson. Leonard outside. Porter with the steal. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Here's Jokic. And another miss by Denver. And Barcelona's loss was Denver's gain when Jokic decided to join the NBA. Yeah, you know, it was a slow start for Jokic, but eventually he showed his unique talent as he got more playing time. In the end, he made the all-rookie first team, and from there, it's been all NBA-level performances. Inside, Green. And it's going to be a goal. But he got to the ball just a moment late. And a new group getting ready for the Nuggets. Bowl, he's checked in for Nikola Jokic. Green comes in for Green. Coffee, he's checked in for Michael Porter. And Campazzo subbed in for Murray. Pass to man. And here's Kennard. Nails it from beyond the arc. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Clippers. I'd say the rim protection really turned things around in their favor. <laughs> yeah, their defensive rotations have been superb. They've been trying to challenge every shot. I love their Hello, effort. Ball. And you look and at their now taking their first two games in this season series, they're playing with a lot of confidence against Denver. Richardson's checked in for the Nuggets. For Denver, they've gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Takes it inside. Coffee. It's tipped. Bledsoe with it. Pass to Duncan. Well, the jumper's good from inside six feet. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. Here's Bull from outside the arc. Kennard with the rebound. Here's Duncan. Kicks it out to Bledsoe. 
Clock at six. From deep three-point range, there's another rebound. And he hauls in his 20th rebound. Oh, just dominating the glass. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. So it's the Clippers winning this one easily. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really now, for Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill.